last week, but now that you've had even another week, like, how, like, how much more comfortable are you just feeling it, literally the route to route, the, the play to play? I would say decent each day, steady progression. Um, just trying to get faster mentally, physically, um, recognizing defenses. I, mean, I keep, I know I keep repeating that, but that's you know a day to day thing. You know, Coach Pease does a great job of changing it up, so it's kind of keeping keeping us on our toes. So to be able to react fast in a matchup, that's something that we try and do every day. I was talking to Justin before, he said that literally, I, you know, maybe it's just him being a coach not wanting to get any specifics, but he's just like, everything you're doing is better. Like, do you feel like that, or is it more toned down for you of where you think it's going to I mean, I definitely feel like I've been trying to take that step in a more mature role and, you know, getting back to how I was feeling when I was feeling like I was on top of the world. So to get to get back to that feeling is, is something I'm trying to get in. I guess you say maybe they, they notice it. Time you felt like you were on top of the world since you used that phrase. I'll say year three at Florida. That's when I was feeling just you know at my you know at my best. Do you expect to play much in the preseason? Yes, sir. Do you, is that your choice or their choice? You, you want to play a lot just to get live snaps? I definitely do. Did you learn something from not playing in the preseason last year that makes you want to do that this year? Uh, no, I won't say that. Was that two snaps in the preseason last year? Yeah, it was, you know, that's up to Coach Smith. I don't really have that uh, leeway to make that call, but, you know, I just go out there and perform whenever he does call my number. How is the comfortability with Marcus at this point? I know, you know, timing and reps, and where are y'all on that spectrum right now? I think we're, you know, we're slowly getting to it. You know, like you said, there's more reps in time. We got a lot of camp left, a lot of games during the year, you know, keep growing our relationship on the field and off the field, so. But I do think we're moving in the right direction. I have a follow-up for you regarding Patrick. So the rookies have to sing. Um, and he said that they went first and they were like the worst group. Like they got moved the 25 seconds in. Do you agree with that? And who's the worst rookie to sing? Definitely was Fitz. <laughs> Definitely. They were trying to read the lyrics. That's the whole point. So you, you can't read them. You just got to spit or sing or rap or whatever. But I would say the best group was Leroy and, Leroy and Fisk. Yeah, they, they came out there with the piano, and they, they killed the whole whole scene. But yeah, they were the best rookies, I feel like. With the piano? Who, was, yeah, who Lee, played? Leroy. Leroy was on the piano. It's an interesting guy on your team. <laughs> <laughs> he was a former tight end, so you know, I'm a little biased. I'm a little biased towards Leroy. So there's no, like, more, like, hazing, or if they suck, but there's no they oh, do it again? No, we don't haze, no. We just boo you, ain't going to sit down. And then you gotta you gotta redo it again. So maybe that's, but no, nah, we don't haze. We don't How'd that go for you last year? I was a backup singer with Trammel, singing um, "I'm a Buy You a Drink" by T with T Pain. Yeah, I was just a backup. We got booed too, but um, I didn't have to redo it. Did you have auto tune? I was auto tune. Yeah, I I brought it. I brought the T Pain. I I brought that part. Is that the range of your lyrical yeah. talent, basically? Yeah. Okay. Not many people get to see that side, but I've retired from singing. I'm picking up things out of the pace. How would you say collectively the tight ends and the wide I'm picking up things fast enough to be on track for I'll say mainly starting with our room, you know, we're just in unison. You know, we're, we're all working together, saying different things, uh, helping each other out in different looks and coverages. So, you know, we're, we're working as a team and working as one. So to be able to do that, I think that's helping our room. Something else that this guy showed us is that he's already learned a lot from you. I mean, being older than you, is that kind of crazy for like the older guys that's doing something? Uh, kinda, cause I, cause he's probably older than me, or close to, probably the same age. But I'm young and I'm always still uh, learning knowledge from everybody else. I'm just, I feel like I'm a big sponge. I'm always asking questions. So, you know, he's, you know, doing the same thing, asking questions every day, and you know, trying to get better. I would say the heat is definitely turning up our competitiveness, so it's, it's making us better. I feel like you know, you know, when it gets hot and people getting tired, you know, we're bringing each other up to, to compete at the highest level. Transition of uh, DJ Frank Steele, so working that tight end and stuff like you see him out there, yeah. you know, two wins and one on one. Are there any things you've seen from him that kind of like, okay, maybe kind of work on this, maybe better? You know, have you, have you all had that conversation? Yeah, me and Felipe 
they talk every day, every day during practice, in the meeting room, you know, certain little things to just, you know, maybe it's nitpicking, but, you know, we just all, we don't take it that way. We don't take it a sensitive way. We just, you know, working to try and be the best. Iron sharp as iron. Uh, I would say it's it's a little more a little more toasty out here today, so that kind of makes you know things a little more difficult. But you know it's us, it's our job as players to bring each other up and you know keep the competition high. <laughs> well, Felipe is taller than me, actually. Yeah, I think so. They are. They both like six, seven. No, no, no. Felipe, is, me and Felipe are the same size. But John's taller than me. But still, I mean, that's got to be a little bit. <laughs> is that, do you, do you see, like, what does that do? Does that help you in some ways, too? Because they maybe see things looking like a 6'2 tight end. I mean, our, their height doesn't do, have any, you know, matter to anything. We're just going out there competing. What Sparks you brought to that room just because he spent time with Arthur before? Yeah, yeah. Sparks brought that mental side that, you know, we've, We've needed from last year, uh, not you know discrediting the, our crew from last year, but just hit from him having previous uh, knowledge from Arts offense in Tennessee, you know he kind of helps us in different things, seeing different things, and because you know he's heard those calls before. What do you think is the biggest difference between this team and last year's team? Um, we're not, you know, we're not comparing. You know, this is a new team. We're not comparing last year and this year. We just start new, starting fresh, and coming out with a new face, new quarterback, and you know, ready to compete. You know. Come September 11th. I'm oh, sorry. Next, next Friday. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite parts of practice is watching you and Justin Hill work together. It almost seems like from the outside looking in that y'all speak the same language. And can you kind of just speak to your connection with him and how it's grown over the course of this last year? It's definitely grown from being that young kid who he was trying to tell me where to line up to now he's trying to help me, you know, learn how to, you know, beat certain defenses. So just our, our relationship has grown, you know, from being that young kid to, you know, kind of stepping into that mature role and be able to, you know, speak a different language, I guess you'd say. What do you think, uh, Tidy, you got better at when you started camp three and around? Just working as one. You know, we're, we're all on the same accord. And to go out there and perform and, you know, handle our business, that's, that's what we want every play. Yeah. Isn't that what the one thing you've been doing is that fan of a lot of time? You know, just walk around, <laughs> and then he's like, just rolling the ball. Like, what do you Felipe is in great shape. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I, I tip my hat to him. Did you ever talk to Felipe when you, as far as like about him ever making a move to receiver or tight end back when you guys were at Florida together? Did that ever come up? always competition love at the end of the rep you know we always shake hands everybody you know it's, it's a good rep and we'll get another one um, I think it's growing uh, like like you know in camp we get a lot of reps so our, you know both relationships are growing and you know only time will tell you know, I know you've talked already a lot about kind of last year versus this year in terms of yourself. Was there a moment during the first 10 days or so, eight or eight days of practice, that you're just like, that really stood out to you? Like, yeah, this really is different than this. Like, is there a moment that is really different for you where you're just like, yeah, I'm seeing this better? Like, I just wonder if there was one like sequence or one moment in the first eight days that's really told you. I feel like every day is a different competition. You know, you know, each each day we could be battling with the DBs or the safeties or the linebackers. So just competing every day, you know, not looking at the minute things, just going out and competing and trying to win. For you, I'm not talking about the team. I mean, for you specifically, I wasn't sure if there was like something that you saw. Um, I wouldn't say anything specific. Best uh, big pick on that team. Tight end. Number one, you can ask anybody. Spurt. Uh, your record, who's got the best record team? I'm on JV right now. I'm on JV. There's some really good guys on, on, on varsity, but I'm at the top of JV. If we ask you anything of the best of anything, is the answer always going to be a tight end? Most likely. Just check. Or is that something like, like right here, is you love Jordan's or what about you? I was blessed to be sponsored by him, so I'm a Jordan Marine athlete, so that's, uh, that's what I wear.
<laughs> what was the track music? Does Mike, does Mike call you and say, what's up? No, that's not how it works? Not there. Not there. You're hitting our, these guys every single day, excited to go strike somebody new. Um, but, you know, it's, it's going well. Um, we started, you know, practicing some looks for Detroit. So, yeah, we're excited for next week. A couple weeks in, what's the biggest thing you've learned so far in this transition to the NFL? I'd say just um, being, being uh, firm on the details. Um, everyone's really good out here. Everyone's here for a reason. Everyone's talented. Um, so you have to be, um, you know, locked in and focused on little details like first steps and whatnot because if you don't, you're going to get beat. What have you learned from Kyle Pitts so far? Kyle's been awesome. Uh, he's a great leader, and uh, he's, a, he's been able to help me in the passing game as well as the run game. Um, he's strong in both of those, obviously. And, uh, you know, I'm really blessed and fortunate to be in the same tight end room as him, one of the best tight ends in the league. So, um, you know, it's been really good. How cool does it feel like you're in your hometown area getting to go to training camp with the Falcons and not be too far away? Yeah, it, it's awesome. Um, I have my family here just about every time they can be here. So I get to see my – give a little hug to my niece after practice and uh, my mom and dad and sister. Um, but it, it's great. Uh, I get to play. and I know a bunch of people here um, every single day. I get to say hi to some friends that come. And uh, it's a blessing. How nice is it to have that familiarity with Justin Schaefer on the line as well and just you guys? Yeah, uh, I played hundreds of snaps with Schaefer. And uh, we're actually rooming together in the dorms. Uh, so we're having a lot of fun together. Um, and we, we play, you know, when we're, we sub in, um, we're, we're near each other a lot. So um, a lot of communication. And uh, I know his techniques when he has to pull around me and stuff like that. Uh, so it's going well. Now, he was saying that he was a little bit nervous. One of the rookie hazing things behind, besides the helmet is singing. Yeah. And so he had his song performance. He said it took him a week. What did you Have you performed yet, and what was your song and how did it go? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, <laughs> I did perform. Uh, Tyler and I went the first day to knock it out. Um, we sang, and we talked to Art about it, and we were like, can we knock it out, please? Um, it would have been hanging over my head for a little bit. But uh, we sang Lean On Me, and we probably got 20, 25 seconds in, and you hear some booze, and then if you hear a little bit of booze, then the whole whole group of 90 to 100 people start booing. And uh, you kind of sit up there for a second, and you know it's time to go back to your seat. So it, it wasn't the best, um, or it wasn't our best showing. I think I was kind of carrying the team, and Tyler was a little quiet. Um, you know, I don't have the best voice, but uh, yeah, I'm just glad we got it over with, honestly. What happens to the rookies, though? I mean, like, do you have extra, like, if you don't do well, or is it just your, they're proud you went out there and did it? I'd, I hope there's not another <laughs> consequence. Um, I haven't found that out yet. I, we haven't been through every rookie. Um, but right now, I think I'm done, and that's what I'm praying for. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just happy it's over. Did you see Jordan and Kobe? Who do you think was better? Uh, I didn't see Nakobe. I saw Jordan, and it didn't surprise me. Uh, he's a character. And uh, he had a great voice, a little dancing I saw too, so that was really funny. And just last question for me, like, just how overall are you feeling physically? Uh, I feel good. Um, you know, obviously a little banged up um, from the two surgeries I had earlier this year, um, but I'm working on the plan they have set up for me uh, with Jake um, and the training staff and Coach Art, and um, they're helping me through it in a plan um, to get 100%. What have you seen from Felipe, and, and just kind of how impressive is that from your perspective to be able to make that transition? Yeah, it's extremely impre impressive. Um, he's selfless. He's, he's a team player. Uh, whatever they ask him to do, he does it to you know the best of his ability, 100% effort every single time. Um, he doesn't whine about anything. Uh, he just goes out and, and does his thing, um, which I think is really cool. A lot of guys, you know, would you know be against whatever the, what they're asking of him, but uh, he goes out and he makes plays every single day, and uh, it's really cool to see. It's well documented. Arthur Smith loves his tight ends. I mean, what's it been like to work with him? Yeah, it's been it's been great. Um, you know, I, I, Coach Smart was more of a defensive coach, and uh, Coach Art he's been really hands on with the tight ends, giving me tips and what I need to work on every single day. And uh, you know, it's really cool because he, he'll you know see me on a rep, and then he'll be able to correct me or give me some insight on what I should have done better um, right away. So it's awesome. What's it like being in this offense where you know? skill sets maybe going to be more utilized and that kind of thing as well. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, we love to roll 12, or 12 personnel, 13 personnel, lots of tight ends on the field, different sets, different movements and whatnot. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities and it. it's all about um, just being, like I said, just uh, firm on all the details and your footwork um, and your steps and whatnot. And uh, we can have a lot of success. Where to step up. So I think it's a collective group going to rush. You said you guys worked together. Did you guys actually work out together? No, no, I'm saying like in OTA, when we were in OTAs, we worked on that during the OTA. So. And we were all a little more familiar with each 
Kind of yeah, thing. yeah, exactly. That's another thing is we're more familiar with each other. We know what our skill sets are. We know what one person can do, what other person can't do, and things like that. So that's a big why, too. What can you do? I mean, I feel like, you know, I got long arms. I, I can work off my long arms. I'm very powerful. I feel like I have strong. i am gotten bigger. So those are the things I feel like are my strength. When it comes to, you know, you, we were talking earlier about you being the quote-unquote older guy in the room. And yeah. You've only been here a year or longer. But with AK and D'Angelo, how do you see them kind of assimilating into to what y'all are doing? Yeah, I think they both have done a good job already. You know, those two are fast learners. You know, they're they're they've been in college for four years. They understand kind of what they need to do. I think for them, you know, it's just understanding, you know, the uh, more details in the defense. You know, not just about what they're doing, like I said, but what everybody else doing. But like I said, I think both of them have done a great job, man. Uh, AK and D'Angelo, they play fast. They go even when you know they make mistakes. They're still going full speed down the field and trying to make plays which is great for us. Have you noticed any differences in between the quarterbacks, like just any tendencies yet or anything that you can tell on the defensive side? Not really. I'm really just focused on what the defense is. I don't really focus on the quarterbacks. I think they, they handle themselves. So. Now is kind of the point in camp where it's like, all right, the energy is maybe worn off from that first week, but you're still trying to you know grind through it. I mean, have you seen that kind of shift of like, all right, we're really in the grind here? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I also think guys have – you know, last yesterday we had a little bit of chill practice, and now I've seen guys ramped it up. So, you know, coaches are giving us the opportunity to you know, come in on some chill days and then come and give it our all the next day. So I think today was a good day, you know, us coming out and competing, you know. I, lo I love the fact that, you know, some days offense wins, some day defense is. That's what the game's about, you know, going at each other. So, How much does the defense win versus the offense? It depends who you ask, but I have to ask you. <laughs> I think the defense will more more of the times, but I mean, if you, it, it's like you said, it depends who you ask. So, going into next week with it being a game week, I mean, how excited are you to just kind of like prepare for a team and, and hit someone else? With yeah, yeah, I'm super excited. I think uh, you know, you wait. The NFL long off season is so long compared to college, so it's so exciting to go out there and play against another team. You know, you you're playing obviously against your teammates, but you're not really hitting. You're not really, you know, taking down the quarterback, you know, and you go to the next year after the next year, you know, you can celebrate with your teammates, you know, you can have fun, do all those things, and I'm excited. I'm really excited. What are you trying to maybe show or prove in camp right now? Like, what are you kind of trying to showcase? I'm just trying to, you know, have build that confidence up and be the best player I can be. You know, I'm not here to show both for anybody else. I'm just here to show what I can do, you know. I know what, the, uh, what I can do for the team. I know what I can do and my ability, and I'm excited to show it up. You talk about that confidence. I mean, a lot of the defense, at least from our perspective, looks like it's playing with a lot more confidence. Yeah, yeah, for practice. sure. Do you feel that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, last year you had a lot of young guys going out there and playing. You had a lot of guys in their first time in this defense. So there's a lot of adjustment going on. You know, you got a lot of guys who understand the defense. They're in their second year. They can play fast. They can do a lot of things, and they have confidence in themselves to make plays. Because if you do it enough times, then you know you can do it. So.